Well, Maximo Torero is the chief economist for the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, and he's been speaking with our correspondent, Shihab Ratanzi, about the factors there affecting food security. I think that there is something positive and something negative. Uh, the positive part is that hunger was increasing and it went to a peak in 2021. And now we are seeing in 2022 that it's the same, a little bit less, but the same. That's the positive thing. Why I'm saying it's positive, because if you remove from those numbers what happened because of the war in Ukraine and what happened because of COVID-19, we will have seen a decline in hunger. That means that the agri-food system is resilient. Why I say there is something negative is because when we look at the numbers by regions, the differences are important. We see a Latin America that is improving, and Asia that is improving, mostly because Latin America has very good social protection programs that allow them to recover quicker from COVID-19. But then you see an Africa that is in all the regions declining substantially. And that is because they are also facing significant challenges of debt stress and they cannot afford the food import bill at this point. Debt distress? Yes. Debt owed to whom? Then? Uh, debt owns to all the multilaterals and to all the different uh, places where they get money, you know, where they get loans to survive. Of the countries in the world, we have around 42 countries which are in debt distress, and most of them are in Africa. And that is reflected in the decline. And the other part of the world which had a decline is the Caribbean, and seats in general. And the reason was because COVID-19 removed completely uh, what it is uh, uh, tourism, to come to these countries, and it also they are completely food import dependent. But how can one keep hope alive if, and we know in this building there's such indifference to the idea of conflict resolution, for example, in Ukraine, from, <laughs> certainly from Western nations. What about climate change? How can there be any hope? Look, Where is your hope? I, I always keep hope because when COVID-19 happened, food was never absent. I could always go to a market and get what I need, and that was applied to the whole world. So something happened despite the tremendous lockdowns the agri-food system respond. So we need to do changes, and that's why I have a hope. We can do those changes, and those changes have to understand that this agri-food system in which we operate is under risk and uncertainties. 